Hello, I'm Hoop. I'm here in Hampton, Virginia, and I have invented a way to tie a knot which allows me to tie this spider web. So I tied this spider web for my daughter for her birthday, Crystal. Now this is just bright white yarn, and this is her yard. We'll take you for a small tour. That's our spider. And as you can see, this yarn can be tied in a way so that it makes a perfect spider web. We're coming around the yard to the driveway. And this is what it looks like up above. And this is with a black light at night. And we have tied this web all the way to her front sidewalk. Here's a small tree. And if we can catch the upper part, it goes all the way into the trees. And that's up about 40 feet. We'll come over here to the corner. I love this corner. And you can see that spider web. And we are talking about right now at one and one third miles of web. And I made this particular web three different levels. So it goes in layers. Here's the ceiling. And there up here is the roof. And that's up about 45 feet, so it's going to be hard to see that tree. What you can see over here to the left side of the yard, it just keeps going. Into two layers. There's an upper layer here. And this is what I would call the ceiling and a lower layer right there. We're coming towards the house here. I hope I'm not making you seasick. And here's another corner here of the house up to the front door. And like I say, we've tied this knot, and here is this knot here. The unique part is the knot will move in either direction, and it stays where you put it, which gives us the right to tie the perfect spider web. I call this knot the webmaster. And we're going to take you back to where we started from. This is all with black light. And right back where we started from. And if you can see the size of this thing, we're dealing with a mile and a third of yarn. Again, my name is Hoop, and this is the Webmaster Knot for Spiderwebs. Thank you very much.